Hey everybody, welcome to Down on Backyard Gardening. I have a question for you. Do you like sweet potatoes? If you do, and you want to grow your own, I'm gonna show you in this video a very simple way of starting your own sweet potato slips. Actually, I'm gonna show you two ways. But this way right here <laughs> is so easy. So, let's grow. Okay, sweet potatoes. Now, sweet potatoes are a little different than regular potatoes. Sweet potatoes don't get those eyes all over them like Yukon potatoes that you'll find in the bottom of your pantry when you forget about them. For sweet potatoes, you need to grow slips. And slips are all of this foliage right here with the root system intact. Now, there's two ways to grow sweet potato slips. This first way, which I'm showing right here, I did last year. And all you're going to do is take the sweet potato, you're going to lay it sideways in some soil, you're going to fill your container up about halfway to three quarters of the way onto the sweet potato, leaving the top exposed, and you're going to sit it outside. Just keep it watered and then just let nature start to grow all of these off of here. As you can see right here, it definitely works because this was a couple years ago that I did this and I had a great harvest from from the sweet potato slips that I grew in the container sideways. Now, a way that you can get a jump start on your sweet potato game is to grow the slips inside like right now, this time of year, early January, early February. So when your area hits the temperatures needed for sweet potato slips to grow, you're already ready to rock and roll. So let me so show you how to take a regular sweet potato like this and to get it growing like this. Now, I will not lie to you all. Last year, I did this exact same method and I could not get these things to grow at all. And I figured out what I did different this year as opposed to last year, and this year, obviously, it's working. Now this sweet potato I got from the grocery store, it's not organic, it's just a sweet potato that they had there. And it's still gonna grow the way that I just showed the other ones are growing. The biggest thing with these things that I've learned is you don't really know which side is up and which side is down. So when I was searching for sweet potatoes yesterday at the grocery store, I got one that still had a root on it. So this side, we are going to put down into a jar, about like that. But to ensure that this doesn't go any further down, we're going to take toothpicks and just stick them in right there at the level at the level that we want the sweet potato to stay at. Just like that. The next thing to do, actually the last thing to do, is to fill this up with water all the way up to about right there. And then we're gonna sit it off to the side. Here's what I did different this year as opposed to last year. Last year, I took the sweet potato and I set it in the windowsill. It did not do anything last year at all. I don't know if it was too cold in the house, not enough sunlight, I have no clue. But this year, what I did was I did the exact same thing, which I'm gonna show you with this, filled it up with water, and I set them over there on the heat mat under the grow lights. Same thing I'm doing with all my seed starts. And the difference, <laughs> as you can see, was night and day. The key to this that I have found, if you're going to do this this time of year, put it on the heat mat, and put it under a grow light. Now the other trick that I do religiously with these sweet potato starts is every two days I change out the water. I'll dump the water out, all the way out, and fill it all the way back up. And the reason for that is really simple. The sweet potato will start to have a smell if you don't change the water. So the key to ensuring that you don't have a stinky area, like sweet potato stench, or gnats or any of that stuff, change out the water and, <laughs> I mean, sit back and just watch these things grow. So this was a super fast video because there's not a lot to growing sweet potato slips, this method or the other method. Everyone, if you all learned something from this video, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, share it, like it, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Everyone take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you all again real soon.
Okay, so on this one right here, you can see how the sweet potato slips actually have roots coming off of each of these growths. That is what you will break up, you will break off and put in the ground to start your sweet potatoes once the weather is ready to rock and roll.